Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and today we're gonna react to some new Halsey. Basically Halsey uh, is a... Um, wait, where is she from again? Hold on. <laughs> oh, okay, so she was born in America uh, in New Jersey and um, basically I'm really like I haven't heard uh, any material from Halsey for a long time and uh, you know like I've not been a fan of her and I'm generally like not really interested in her music uh, but many people are uh, really enjoying her music and my friends as well and so uh, I kind of want to get into it and see uh, what's the new album sounds like because uh, my friend Sam for example you have been seeing him in this channel quite often he basically uh, recommended me uh, to listen to this album because it was fucking dope <laughs> as he said to me <laughs> but, um, yeah so basically I have clear state of mind I don't have like any biased opinion I'm completely new to Halsey kind of let's say in that way I have just only heard couple of songs here and there before like in 2015 when she when her uh, album popped up um, and was quite commercial and successful oh by the way <laughs> forgot to mention I actually have seen Palsy uh, in the concert um, I have attended um, basically a radio concert like there's in, in San Diego basically there's like a 93.3 radio station and then they uh, basically uh, made a concert and invited a lot of people I mean a lot of uh, famous artists like uh, David Guetta, my favorite DJ uh, that's why I went there by the way <laughs> there was Niall Horan and then there was like um, Haley Stainfield, Halsey was there, DNCE and uh, a couple other artists uh, like pretty pretty cool artists and so uh, I have seen Halsey, I liked what I have seen <laughs> so uh, I got a upload that video I actually filmed that uh, kind of vlog that was my first experience uh, filming like a vlog and I think it was pretty good and uh, that vlog will be um, I think this it's it will come in like by the end of the month for sure in this channel I just like have been so busy uploading like videos uh, I, as you have seen like I have been uploading a lot of videos lately uh, it's because uh, my channel was blocked and I like you know like the older videos I reacted to like older songs kind of uh, Katy Perry's uh, oh no, not Katy Perry. like for example I don't know Niall Horan's uh, new song Slow Hands or like Harry Styles new album all of that content was uh, Selena Gomez bad luck all of it was in the um, like uh, in my new kind of channel and then uh, when I got this channel back okay now let's get all the content to here and so that's what I did finally I have finished uploading all the videos that was up there and then now I can just like have that channel empty just in case uh, this uh, channel will be blocked again but uh, I probably uh, probably will not happen hopefully um, I'm doing everything uh, like uh, in a good way now and it should not happen uh, this time anymore I don't want to be stressful <laughs> stressed out again <laughs> so um, yeah, I've been talking too much. Let's just get into it. Halsey, Hopeless Founding Kingdom, Kingdom. First reaction to the album. Let's go. Hmm. Feels like it's an advertisement or trailer to a movie, but it's not. It's an intro to the album. Okay, some weird auto-tune is going on over there, but Hells is trying to uh, give a good opener to the album and kind of sets the theme to the album. I'm quite intrigued what's gonna happen, honestly. <laughs> Track 2, 100 Letters. I like this kind of sounds. I think this is kind of like a world genre of music, like when this kind of beat is going on. Oh my 
Well, I like the instrumental sound. The lyrics were good too. Um, I like the I like this track. It's good. Track three, eyes closed. I was trying to find what track Sam recommended me. Like the whole album is amazing, but like particularly he like highlighted the track number ten, Walls Could Talk. And we'll get into it, but I'm just like I was interested. Uh why that track? And it's only uh, one forty two. <laughs> I mean one minute forty two seconds. Uh so it's kinda of like an interlude track, I guess. We'll see. Track four, Heaven in Hiding. Can you hear my heartbeat fucking kicking? <laughs> your eyes are not up, cause you best believe. I walk my talk, no time for wishful thinking. I push up on my toes, you call me sweet. Okay, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it, okay. I flip the script like I can take a beating. And when you start to feel the rush, your crimson headache, aching blush, and you surrender to the Oh yeah, yeah, that one I, I liked it. Um, I think uh, hundred letters is good. Ice cold was just like, like typical healthy. <laughs> I didn't know like how to explain it, but it was just like so calm and like, like kind of kind of dark mood of the song you know like um i don't that's the reason like i kind of really i don't really like housey like i don't really like listen to housey a lot is because like i don't really fuck with that style of singing for some reason like i don't know like <laughs> how to explain but it's just like maybe not my musical type or musical taste but heaven in hiding at least it, it gave me more uh i wouldn't say hype but it, it gave me like more um enthusiasm in the track you know like more passion and like i just i just felt it more you know like it was something going on at least in the song <laughs> like more uplifting kind of thing and so yeah that's uh that's the reason i liked it um now we're going to um Track five alone. I like this instrumental, okay? Okay. is very good kind of remind me of Alicia Keys but it's just my interpretation I like Alicia Keys a lot by the way <laughs> Oh, and Alicia Cara influences kind of not influences but it's just like remind me of Alicia Cara as well <laughs> Track six, now or never. I actually heard it before uh, in the concert. That's her uh, single. No, 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 no. Oh, never. Yeah, that's a good song. Pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I actually texted um, Sam 
sorry I kind of like talking to Sam through this one because uh, it's uh, her girl uh, her it's his girl basically Halsey um, he's a fan and so like I'm like uh, what am I saying here if you can see I don't know if you can see but basically it's saying listening to Halsey <laughs> and with a fire like so <laughs> dope <laughs> yeah anyway so yeah, so, yeah, I, I like the track 5, one of my favorites for now, I mean, it's a favorite, <laughs> out of 6 tracks actually, because I have heard Now or Never, and I feel like the track 5, I like it more than Now or Never, but Now or Never single is good too, uh, we'll go ahead and just uh, skip this one, because like it's not going to be my first reaction, I've never heard it, um, so track 7, sorry. I've missed your calls for months it seems But I love life truly Cause I can change my mind each day Okay, don't get me wrong I like calm songs And this is the one, I like it <laughs> Piano is going well uh, How's he singing good? Everything is perfect Track seven was about um, like a lover who loved Halsey once, but Halsey was ignorant, and and like she kind of took it for granted, like his love, and then she left her uh, him, and um, and basically like uh, broke his heart and. Uh, she herself now like at the position where like nobody else is like giving her this love he used to give and she is like n like it's not not seeing in anyone uh, in anyone else's eyes that look that that guy used to give to her and now like even though she left him, she kind of regrets that she did, but at the same time she's still saying that she will not love him. Someone will love him, but it's not gonna be me. And, um, like for me, um, I kind of like, I kind of related myself to that track a little bit. Um, it was like, I thought of my ex and um, like I thought like this is basically like her her perspective kind of right like um, she she left me and probably now like maybe she thinks about me maybe not I don't I don't, I don't know but um, yeah it was just like interesting to hear to listen to like from that kind of perspective, from that girl's perspective who left the guy, right? Because I was in the same situation and like uh, my ex, although she spoke up about it a lot and we had the discussions, um, it's still like sometimes it's just like not enough and y like the words are like, you know, you forget about the words, um, all you have is the feelings like in your memory and or like uh, just uh, happy moments or something like after uh, uh, time but uh, so now like I, like I would still love to like um, uh, from her like to listen uh, to hear something from her because like I I still care about her but I just like like I don't see her at all like she just vanished from my life and like she's not in social media even so like I can't like there's no access to her <laughs> she blocked me everywhere as well so yeah that's 
that's the story of Bob. <laughs> well, that's the love story of Bob, like with a sad ending. But yeah, we we are keeping it optimistic. And YouTube channel, this YouTube channel was actually uh, created because uh, I was kind of at a low point in my life, and then um, I decided, hey, like I like to listen to music. I love to, you know, like I love to watch music reaction videos and I just wanted to try it by myself and like keep myself busy and I mean like <laughs> I have college and now I have music school I have a lot of stuff going on in my life as well but I was just like um, this thing this YouTube channel gave me happiness and so like I'm glad to do this and uh, I'm glad to uh, share my opinion with you guys share the happy moments with you guys and I like to put a smile on the face of other people and I like to be an entertainer and so um, that keeps me optimistic and happy uh, and try and it distracts uh, me <laughs> so yeah some quite intimate moment over here <laughs> but we just go ahead we'll go ahead and uh, listen to track 8 now all right, track eight is an interlude, I believe. Good morning, and it lasts only for one minute. Okay, here comes track nine, "Alive" featuring Quavo. I'm uh, interested what's gonna happen in this track because Quavo is a member of Migos, and I really like hip hop. <laughs> That's pretty good production. I I enjoy the production itself and you know, like how dramatic and cinematic the song is. Track 10. Oh, here it comes. Walls could talk. Alright, Sam, I know you're watching this. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I like the violin so far. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I doubt it, but <laughs> the track is good. The track is good. Good, good implementation of violin, and the track is good. Track 11, Bad at Love. Simple, nice, good beat, great production, healthy voice, phenomenal track. That's all we need. <laughs> oh, I, I like, I like the, the notes. It's just going on right now. It's, it's dope. It's dope. Good. Enjoyable listen. Track 12, don't play. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> I like these notes and I like this sounds. <laughs> Track 13, good track by the way, don't play it. Uh, I like that too. So, track 13 is Strangers featuring Lauren Jorigui. <laughs> Jorigui. <laughs> I 
believe that, that was a single as well. But personally, actually, like, I feel like the other tracks were better for me, even though this is a single, like, it's not, I don't know, I'm not growing into it, kind of, like, it doesn't do anything for me, basically. Track 14, Angel on Fire. That's some passion on her voice, yeah. <laughs> I like this, I like this, I like this production, yeah. I like the album in general, um, it sounds... Sounds unusual and like, um, I can see the appeal, I can see the appeal. Hmm. I see, so it was Angel on Fire, now track 15, Devil in Me, so Angel and Devil. She was saying like, uh, don't. She was saying like, don't please like, don't wake, do not wake with the devil in me. But then gotta wake it up, gotta wake it up. Uh, interesting. And uh, here comes the last song, which is which is hopeless by. Halsey and Cashmere Cat. Cashmere Cat is dope. Music producer, DJ, and just basically music creator. I like him a lot, and uh, that's the most, um, tr that's the best. How do I say it in English? <laughs> Basically, that's the most anticipated track by me. Uh, I really want to listen to this track. That's the one I'm most excited about. So, let's get it. Boy, you make it look so easy. I'm sorry, baby girl, but I can't tonight. Oh. Boy, you make it look... Oh. Okay, now I see Kashmiri on, on the track. <laughs> okay, well, uh, that's the end of the album. Um, give a clap. Let's give a clap for ourselves that we uh, made it. Alright, final thoughts on Halsey's Hopeless Fountain Kingdom album. This project is good. This project is really good. Um, I see the appeal of it. Like I see the production is on point. I see like good tracks of it from there. Uh, personally, like I didn't like all the tracks. I didn't dig into all of them. But like I think like half, like maybe like eight tracks out of sixteen I like, and that's gonna be my takeaway so I'm not gonna say which ones because I want you to explore Halsey's album by yourself and see what tracks you liked it and also like I don't wanna say which ones I like because like other ones which I didn't like for example is just my taste and so like other people who are into Halsey maybe they like those tracks more than the those I liked and so like and then there's gonna be like a negative uh, affection kind of like negative um, um, th thought uh, in your mind and you will not really and you will start considering like hey maybe like that track is actually is not that good and like you will not kind of start disliking it. and like I don't want to spread negative opinion on the music because it's so different like um, like the tastes uh, we have like all we all have different tastes so but yeah we will finish with that uh, thank you for watching this video. I 
hope you like the video and uh, uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos a lot more content is coming uh, my vlog which I already mentioned should be in one two weeks uh, like it should be uploaded but uh, like the like last date is probably like like last due due date is like by the end of the June but uh, should, should I should upload it earlier uh, and also there will be also Paramore's new album reaction I, I reacted like three weeks ago when it came out but uh, like I still gotta uh, edit it and upload it um, because I was just like very busy I'm, well, I'm sorry but I was very busy and uh, and as I said like the content from the other channel like I was uploading every day into here and probably people are already like why the fuck Bob is like uploading a lot of like shit like <laughs> I can't watch like I mean I don't uh, like I probably don't <laughs> a lot of people just like skip most of the videos they are not watching uh, the videos I'm sharing with them uh, maybe just like a couple here and there but yeah like overload of the content is not really that good either not that healthy so from now on it's gonna be like much like more rarely like not every day as it used to be but at least like once in three days and then once it's gonna be like um, like the whatever songs will come out on Thursday it's usually like new songs on, on Thursday I will drop my reactions to them like uh, on Friday maximum Saturday and that's gonna be it till next Thursday you know like that's gonna happen uh, probably hopefully <laughs> I guess because um, yeah I don't wanna make my audience tired by like forcing or not forcing but like by just like uh, showing uh, my face into other profiles accounts and like basically angering them <laughs> like oh again this phase again new video why <laughs> you know well anyway that's just like what I think um, but people enjoy it people enjoy my videos and I love the fact that you guys are commenting uh, good stuff and I, I love the f I love this fact but I'm just saying like I will not upload now from now on every day just to not make you tired of me so yeah uh, yeah uh, it's time to say goodbye пока хайер auf Wiedersehen arrivederci ciao adios и au goodbye